Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to talk about getting the most out of your hydration reservoir. I got a few emails uh, every once in a while asking me questions about how to use this, about tips and blah, blah, blah. So I figured I'd just address it in a video. Hopefully it helps some of you uh, other viewers out there. For those of you who've been using one for a while, it might be kind of rudimentary. Maybe you'll get a tip or two out of it. Who knows? But uh, I will I will show you how it goes. Now, just a note, I use the reservoir when I know I'm using clean water. That's like when I'm filling up at home, I'm bringing it out on the trail. If I'm bringing, um, or if I'm going hiking where I know I'm gonna be filtering water, I'll use two smart water bottles and a Sawyer squeeze. Uh, I list all of my filters and gear and everything on my gear page, so check that out. I've got all that there. And as you watch this, as you like it, if you could do me a big favor, click a little thumbs up. It's an easy way to say thank you for this video, which hopefully will help you in some way or another. All right, let's dive in. So when you're picking out a reservoir, I like the ones that have a top like this that you can fold open. Uh, this is an Osprey uh, reservoir that I use. I like it because it integrates well with my Osprey pack, but it's also got a few thoughtful features like this lip right here which might not seem like a big deal, but a lot of times if you are filling up a reservoir and you're like at a bathroom somewhere, you don't have room in a sink to hold it like this. So being able to hold it like this, catch the water on the lip and trickle it down there really helps in kind of tight situations filling these up. Um, other thing I like about the Osprey is padded on the back so I don't have to worry about it wearing through this thinner material. And the kind of Achilles heel of the Ospreys, if you read the reviews, you'll see, is the, people say the bite valve leaks. Now, if you bite down really hard on this, you can break it. So you just have to bite gently. Don't chew on it. Don't, if you're a, if you're a beaver, you're not going to want this. Um, but if you just do it gently, it's fine. It's, I think, six bucks to replace these. I just keep an extra one in my pack. Sometimes when I get tired, I might break it. Uh, it maybe happens once twice a year maybe something like that but I do break it and if you do break it you just pull this off and you put another one on there it's not not a big deal the nice thing about this if you do break one of these tips is you can simply close it like this so if it does start dripping you'll notice it'd be a big wet spot on your shirt just close it up and then replace it when you can or carry a spare with you but that's one option the other option something like the Camelback, um, and these, I think Camelback was the first bladder that, that came out a while ago now, uh, and these are okay too. They're generally easy to fill. They used to come out a little bit longer and you couldn't get it underneath the sink, but now you can. What I don't like about these um, bladders that have, or reservoirs that have the twist top is that if you don't thread this on exactly and twist it down exactly, uh, the water will leak out and there's nothing like filling your backpack up and putting this in your backpack, driving to a hike, opening your trunk and finding your backpack soaking wet because you have not threaded this thing on correctly, which I have done, as you might have figured out by my detailed description there. So a few different choices. The Osprey's good as long as you know the deal with the bite valve. Um, but whatever you do, I recommend something like this where you can squeeze it like this. You can squeeze it. I can hold this with my little claw finger there, hold it up and easily fill it up in a sink. Uh, it's great for that. Now when you fill the reservoir up, if you leave air in there, you can slosh around like that. So what some folks do is they squeeze it before they put it in. We'll squeeze it, we'll get some air out, we'll close it. Look how easy that is, simple. And then to get the air out and stop it from sloshing, just hold it upside down. Take this. Suck all the air out like that. And now you can see it's sort of a vacuum packed there and it will not slosh around when it is in your pack. All right, so when you're ready to put your reservoir into your pack, two things. It's much easier to get a backpack that has an external pocket for the reservoir than one where you have to open it up and take things out in order to fit the water in there. So look for an external pocket. I like those better. And the other thing is if there's a little hook on your pack, and a lot of them have it, this Osprey is designed to work with this thing, but if there's a little hook like this, a little buckle, you just put that through there. And then buckle it in. 
and that will hold the pack up. So as the pack empties of water, it won't fold down and collapse on itself, which often pinches it and kind of blocks off water and makes it harder to drink. So nice thing to have if your pack has it or if you're buying a pack, look for one of these little hooks in there. It will help you out. So one of the biggest downsides of using hydration reservoir, if not the biggest, is keeping it clean. Now, if you ever see little black spots inside there or on the bite valve, that's mold or mildew. That will make you sick. That's not a good thing. You don't want to use it. The good news is it's relatively easy to keep these things clean. Um, with what I do, what I'm going to show you in a second, I never see those anymore. I used to see those quite a bit. Uh, first off, just use water in here. Don't put any flavor drinks or sugar drinks or hydration tablets in here. Sugar is really bad for that type of growth, and you're almost guaranteed to get that kind of growth if you do. If you do use that kind of stuff in your hydration bladder, you're going to want to do a thorough clean every time. You can buy a brush kit. Some people use little denture tablets to put in there and then scrub it out. I don't do any of that. What I do is when I'm done, open it up. First thing I want to do is clear all of the water out of the tube right here. So I'm just going to take this. Blow it so that this is totally clear. Then we're going to take this and dump it out. Give it a shake out like this. And now you're basically done. Now some people rig up a hanger where you can cut a hanger and hang this on a hanger so it drains like this. You can also just hang this part around a hanger and it will do the same thing. Just put a hanger in there and hold it upside down so it all drains down. You can also use something that I've been testing out for a couple months now. This, it's called a bone dry. It's just kind of a black piece of, I don't know, fabric-y thing. It's made from all the good stuff, reclaimed plastic bottles, environmentally friendly stuff. But what it does is you stick it in here all the way to the bottom like this and you just leave it like that and then you hang it up and it's easy enough to hang these two you can put this in there put that there and then hang it on a hanger like that but what this bone dry thing does is it ta basically takes the water from the bottom brings it up along the top here and evaporates it out the top so within you know overnight usually this thing will be completely dry on the bottom. And just doing that, I haven't had any problems with mold or mildew. It's real simple, you get home, blow it out, dump it, stick this thing, hang it up, call it a day, and it's pretty simple. So hopefully these tips have uh, helped you out in terms of getting the most out of this. The really simple kind of workflow to incorporate into your hiking, and you can use this forever. I've actually used this hydration bladder, I think for two and a half, years two years maybe and it's still going strong not a problem all right guys don't forget to uh give me a like if you like the video thank you if you have any questions or if you have tips yourself on using this or what not to do just leave that in the comments and uh it'll be interesting for everyone to see what's what with reservoirs all right guys bye